This is question one from paper two of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're told the house is valued at 240,000 and we're given the rate at which its value rises year by year, that's 2.8 per 7 each year per annum, and we're asked to calculate its predicted value after two years. Now before we start, I want to explain what a multiplication factor is. Suppose we start out with a value of £10 and increase it by 50%. 50%, you know, is £5, so it'll increase to a value of £15. We started out with 100%, that's the £10, and added 50%. Now, 100% divided by 100, 100 divided by 100 is 1, so that's the same as number 1 and 50%, 50 divided by 100 is 0.5. So 1.5 is called the multiplication factor. Multiplication factor. If we take 10, 10 pounds in this case, multiply it by 1.5, we end up getting 15 pounds. The 1 when you multiply 10 by 1, you just get the 10. That's the whole amount you start with. Multiplying by the 0.5 gives you your £5 increase. So in one multiplication, you do this increase and using that multiplication factor. So in this case, the multiplication factor is equal to 1, that gives you the whole of this, times, now changing 2.8% into a number, uh, there's your 28, there's your decimal point, divide it by 100, move the point two places to the left, uh, you can do this in your calculator if you wish, you'd get 0 0.028. So we have to add a 0 0.028 to this 1. That's the multiplication factor. Now, if we take 240,000, multiply it by that, we'll get the result of increasing 240,000 by 2.8% once. That's for the first year. If we then proceed to multiply again by this factor, we'll have the value after two years. Um, there's, there's your original amount. We're multiplying by that multiplication factor to get the amount uh, after one year and then we're multiplying again by the same factor increasing this amount after one year by 2.8 percent to get the amount for the second year its value for the second year so predicted value will be equal to 240,000 times 1.028, that'll get us to this first year value, times another 1.028 will get us to the second year's value. And there's an even shorter way when we get to our calculator of doing that. If you notice uh, that 1.028 times 1.028 is 1.028 squared. Let's see what we get when we uh, work this out on the calculator. So 240000 times multiplication factor 1.028, square that. There's what we get. We get £253,628.16. Now, that's a bit silly being accurate to the nearest pence after two years. It's just a rough prediction. We were originally given 240,000. If we assume that's to the nearest thousand, then approximately this to the nearest thousand, chopping a six off three, would go up to four, 254,000. Uh, it's nearer to than it is to 253,000. So that's to the nearest thousand. But there is no indication of accuracy, so you would get away with this this answer here, full marks, as you would for this. So after two years predicted value is two hundred and 
54,000, and that's using the method of multiplication factor. If you want to hang on with this video, we can do it the, the long, uh, boring way. Let's, uh, I suppose we should do that then, just to, just to be sure of that. So, value that we start with is 240,000. And let's look at the first year. The increase in value would be got by working out 2.8% of 240,000, which we can do on the calculator. Uh, 240,000 times uh, 2.8 as a percentage divided by 100 to make it into a, a number. So there's 6720. So value, first year value, would be 240,000, which is what we start with, and add 6720. So that gives us 246,720. And for the second year calculations, that'll be the value we start with. So the increase will be 2.8% of that new value, which 2.8% of 246,720, which we can uh, work out here, 2460, uh, sorry, 246,720 times 2.8 divided by 100, and we get an increase of 6,908 pounds 16p. So the value after these two years is 246,720 plus that 6,908 pounds 16 pence. So let's just add the 246 and 720 to that and out pops the number that we had previously, 253,628 pounds 16 pence. So that would be approximately 254,000 to the nearest thousand, as we had before. But I certainly prefer the multiplication method, the multiplication factor method, much, much quicker and less likely to make mistakes in copying your working day.